Hi, my name is Andy Parker, owner and head brewer at Elusive Brewing and author of Cameras Essential Home Brewing. I'm down at the Malt Miller in Swindon today to walk you through your first ever brew from grain to glass. In this video, we're going to talk about boiling your wort, the various hop additions and hop types you can use throughout the boil, and even things beyond hops you can use to achieve different styles of beer. Okay, so the mash is done and we've now just reached the boil. If you missed the mash video, you can find it up here. So as you can see, we've got a nice rolling boil and that's really important because what's happening here is we're driving off lots of off flavors and we're sterilizing the wort. So we want all that steam to escape. Right at the start of the boil, we add the bittering hops and Level Up uses Magnum, which is a German variety that's got a nice high alpha acid, which is great for bitterness. I'm just gonna throw these in and then we'll tell you more about the hops. So with Level Up, we're gonna boil the wort for 60 minutes. And what we added there was the magnum that goes in right at the start of the boil. And that's all about the bitterness. But you add hops at different stages of the boil and they will add either bitterness, aroma, or flavor, depending on when you add them. Adding them at the start gives you more bitterness because it extracts the alpha acid from the hops. Adding them towards the end extracts less alpha, but more of that lovely aroma that uh, is in the volatile oils in the hops. So Level Up is an American red ale and it uses, aside from the bittering hop, American hops, specifically Citra and Simcoe. Now hops are grown all around the world, from right here in the UK, across to the US, Australia, New Zealand, other parts of Europe, all over. And each of those hops have different characteristics. In particular, in the UK, our hops are known for being more kind of earthy, floral, if you go across to the US, you've got some wonderfully vibrant, citrusy, juicy hops that are grown in that warmer climate. Down to Australia and New Zealand, very much the same. Lots of bright, bold, citrus, fruity flavors. And all of those hops can be used in different styles of beer to impart different flavors and aromas. So whilst we're using pellet hops in this Grainfather brew of Level Up, you can also buy hops in a whole cone format. And we've just opened this lovely fresh bag uh, that's been nitrogen flushed. flushed. And you can see that these cones are st still whole. Give them a rub and give that a smell. That's amazing. Now the jury's out in terms of which is better, uh, whole cone or pellet. But of the main concern for someone starting home brewing is you've got to use what works best for your kit. So certain kettles, for example, um, can't deal with pellet because the pellet breaks down and ends up being transferred into your FV because you need to filter those pellets out as they go into the FV. So bear that in mind to choose the right type of hop format for your equipment. So this is a lovely fresh bag of whole cone hops. Um, we've opened it now. Um, once you've op opened your hops, you need to keep them nice and cold. In fact, keeping them in the fridge is a good idea anyway. This particular bag has been nitrogen flushed before being sealed, which helps preserve the freshness. It's great to store your hops in a fridge or freezer, particularly once they're opened. Reseal that, fold that down. Ideally vacuum seal it again keep it nice and cold to preserve that freshness. All those essential oils need to stay in the hop. Now hops aren't the only thing you add to the boil. Typically you're gonna add some Irish moss or protoflock and that helps bring clarity to the wort. So we get a nice clear beer once we packaged it. Depending on the style of beer, you can also add herbs, spices, anything you like. It's all about infusing flavor and aroma into your wort before you ferment it. Now, depending on your recipe, you're gonna add hops at different times in the boil. And in the case of Level Up, it calls for a nice big Simcoe edition at flame out. So here we are post boil. Our boil's off, you can see our temperature's coming down. And now we're gonna add this delicious fresh Simcoe that just smells amazing. And you get those in there. And this is all about avoiding boiling them. We don't wanna extract too much bitterness here. It's all about the aroma. So give those a nice gentle stir in. You can see those have broken down into a nice, a delicious hop sludge. <laughs> give that a stir. And we're gonna let those sit for 20 minutes. So now that we're at the end of the boil, we turn the elements off 
and the temperature is starting to reduce, it's really important we keep things nice and clean at this point because this is where we can start to pick up bacteria and infections. Next, we're gonna cool the wort to bring it down to fermentation temperature. So the grain father comes with its own wort chiller. And here's a, an alternate type of chiller with a, a coil that you pump cold water through. Your system may not come with any chiller at all, uh, but you still do need to get your wort down to around about 20 degrees as quickly as you can in order to minimize the risk of infection. Now, when I started brewing at home, I used to fill my bathtub with cold water put my effie in it and slosh it around and then wait till it was around 20 degrees. Quite rudimentary, but effective. As long as you get your work down to around about 20 degrees, you're good to go and ready to pitch the yeast. So we're going to chill our work down and transfer it into the fermenter. There's a couple of things to be aware of at this point. The first is that yeast needs two main ingredients to, in order to ferment. One is oxygen. So as a process of transferring, we're gonna aerate our work and you'll see as the work goes into the bucket, that we're splashing it in to get lots of oxygen going in to the work. So first thing we do with the grain father, we've got the counterflow chiller here. We're gonna turn our water on. There goes our water. And then here's our cleaned and sanitized fermenter. We start the pump. You'll see our nice cooled work flowing into the fermenter. There we go. So that runs nice and slowly. That's so that the, the water counterflowing in the opposite direction chills the work down to around about 20 degrees. And in the next video, we're going to pitch the yeast and tell you all about fermentation. So that was a quick overview of the brewing process. If you'd like to learn more, you can buy my book on the Camera Bookshop, or the Malt Miller has some great resources on their YouTube channel and their website, or you can watch the other Camera Learning Discovery videos.